All right, guys, we got another welder for you. This one, uh, another Chinese source, sounds like an Italian name almost, and Andelli. Um, but I, I did look and uh, verified this is coming out of China. Um, we've looked at a bunch of welders recently. Uh, for some reason, I'm getting an influx of welders being sent to me. Um, this was another one. I did not pay for this. Uh, this one was provided at no cost to me. This is a flux core stick and could be a TIG if you bought an appropriate TIG torch for it. It would be lift TIG, not high frequency start. So this unboxing on the Undeli MIG 250. So they do give you a uh, basic uh, inexpensive plastic uh, firm bristle brush. They give you a... Uh, An electrode clamp for stick welding, All right? Let's see, a nice firm spring. It's pretty decent. Um, okay, let me show you this. This is a pet peeve of mine that I don't like. I, I like whenever they have the um, keyed pad. Let me see if I can show you this. Okay, you see the impressions there for doing your 45 degree, your straight or your 90 for your electrode. Um, I prefer them to be deeper, more substantial, so that the electrode doesn't ever jump or move. Um, they're there, but they're um, very subdued in this case, which is similar to some of them. Let's see here. The electrode wire is not marked. Okay, so we don't have markings on that for the electrode uh, wire size. Uh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I say that in uh, 16 millimeter, okay, which is uh, 25 millimeter is an inch, so it's, it's it's 16 millimeters more than a half inch. How does that work? Because that ain't a half inch. I don't know. Okay, they do give us some J422 rod. We've got one, two, three, four, five, five pieces of J422. I'm not familiar with J422, what that is. Um, Flex core MIG welding, they do give us uh, five spare contact tips. They also do give us two spare gas nozzles. You actually don't need to use these. Um, you know, when you're doing flux core, which is all this machine does, uh, you don't necessarily have to have this. I'm not sure why they give them to you. Um, you just make a mess of them anyways with flux core. Okay, so here. We have our uh, earth clamp, ground clamp, whatever you want to call it. Because depending on the process and the technique, you may or may not be tied into negative or positive on this. So this says uh, one by 12 millimeter on this. Um, one of the chintziest, weakest uh, earth clamps that I've seen. Uh, not real impressed at all. Um, it... Uh, just you know, uh, like you know, just two fingers. Like it's uh, like you know, so, some of your ground clamps are really stout and firm. That is not the materials. Uh, you know, that's like sheet metal thickness of car a car part today. Um, you know, car body part. So they do give you a spool of is this one pound or two pound? What are they giving us here? Net weight, uh, 0.5 kilogram, that'd be one pound, that'd be uh, one pound of boom, 40, okay, so this is this is a, a heavier wire, that's a 40 mil wire or uh, 1.0 millimeter. Um, oh, we got another one, there's another one down here, let's see what this one is. This one is also... 40 mil, 1.0 millimeter, also a 1.1 pound. So they give you two, that, that's actually nice. Um, all right, we've got a MIG torch. Let's see what this thing looks like. And not a Ziploc, that's all right. I think we're tough enough to rip some plastic. All right, so that's good. So they gave you the, the two, uh, 
two gas shrouds and they give you five contact tips. And yeah, there's one here and another gas shroud here. So you end up with a little, they preloading you with some spare parts there. Okay, they do give you a manual and a carry strap. All right, that's nice. And let's see here. Let's rip her out of the box. Get rid of the box and get rid of the bag. Okay, notice 110 volt only. Paint job's pretty fancy. And Delhi, new inverter. What's it say here? Uh, technology with a picture of a computer processor. They got protection, the word protection with a picture of a shield. They've got the word efficiency with what looks like some sort of recycle, reuse type uh, emblem. Okay, this side over here. Okay, this side over here. Um, unusual, the small window cut, but that's fine. Um, so you're not going to ever put a, a, a bigger spool, like a 10 pound spool or anything in this. You're going to have, um, just a single, there's a little bit of red, they put a little bit of red match marking on all, all their fasteners and they have a little bit, it's like strung across a little bit. Um, okay. So this is non-adjustable. Like many of them, you push turn just a little bit and it pops off It just, it basically cogs on. It is what it is. It's a preset, um, tension. All right, let me uh, go ahead and plug it in and let's see what the display looks like. Ugh, looks like. Sorry about that. My wife just made homemade uh, spaghetti and hot sausage. And I just ate before I did this. <clears throat> All right, oh, I'm going to my welding outlet there and that's not going to work for you, is it? All right, we're going to go here to our 20 amp. The power switch is located on the back. You just have a standard switch like most other welders oh you see what they're doing okay so they did give us an adapter to jump it out to 240 so i'm expecting it to say 110 so anyways okay so we have <clears throat> This button here, um, which is, they, they call it your mo press knob five seconds to go into SP mode. Um, that's probably a, um, like a pro mode where you have full, con yeah, see, I, I don't have control here. What do I got here? Okay, so I, I have 200. So, okay, so this is, this is like a synergy based system right now. So what's happening as you're turning the knob, let me, let me actually change you. Let me zoom you in on that display because I see what they're doing. Um, let me center you up a little bit here and pull you in. Oh boy. That's really glaring on you. Let me see if I can change that. Let me see how that looks. Ah, uh, you can see that. Okay. So now what you're seeing here, we're all zoomed in. So we're down to 20 amps or uh, 0.4 millimeter. You see the plate thickness millimeter. It's on TIG mode right now. Um, okay, let me see. How do we get out of TIG mode? Okay, there is 0 0.8 mig, 1.0 mig, stick mode, TIG mode, lift TIG mode. Okay, so we're going to go over here. Okay, so we're at 0 0.8 mig. Now we'll go one more. Go to the 1.0 meg. Because that's that's what they gave us here, right? You know what I told you? Yeah, this is uh, 1.0 right here. 1.1 pound. They gave us two packs of that. All right. So now what you're doing is you're looking over here at your plate thickness in millimeter. So as you roll your plate thickness up, you see what's happening. The synergy system is adjusting your amps, your volts, and your wire speed, all you're doing is selecting a plate thickness. So they give you a plate thickness all the way up to five millimeter maxed out. And at the five millimeter, they're showing you at 250 amps, right? It's pretty simple. 
Okay, this is great for like a new user. Now, um, now that we've seen that, let me come back out. A little too far there. Um, all right, so this uh, this Andelli um, Andelli inverter machine, a decent TIG torch. Um, I would like a little bit more resistance on the trigger. I, I don't like the triggers that every time you bump something. It's, this isn't that bad, but uh, I've seen I've seen better. I've seen worse. I like. Um, Yes Welder has like a ball socket on the end. So the cable has, like this cable is fixed coming out of here with a strain relief right here. Um, the Yes Welder has uh, a little bit different design where this is actually jointed. Um, some of them even have a flex neck on them that you can add or take away angle on the neck. Um, so what this is good for, first of all, it's really lightweight and small. So this thing is 13 inches by six inches by eight inches it's nine pounds so it's very light and portable right um price wise this is 160 dollars right now on amazon and i'll throw a link in there on amazon um but that 160 dollars doesn't account for the fact that currently there's a 30 dollar coupon which would take this down to 130 dollars okay so this is a you know ready to ready to flex core weld out of the box for 130 dollars pretty decent system nice very portable throw easily in the back of your truck behind a seat or something um as you saw it comes with the um the 40 mil flex core but you can go smaller it has the preset center preset synergy settings for smaller flex core wire this is their newer models with the digital display as you saw when we zoomed in on that um, this is a three-in-one welder, although it comes equipped for two processes. They call, almost everybody today calls them three-in-one. Very rarely do they include the TIG torch with them. They, they say it's capable of TIG. It has the TIG functions built into it. Now you have to go buy your 17V TIG torch to plug in, you know. Um, so this, you know, they call it a flux core lift TIG and MMA stick. Um, I'm going to say... It's a flux core MMA stick out of the box. You can add a lift TIG if you wanted. So um, great little machines, great for people that are starting. As you saw in that um, mode that it's in right now, the Synergy mode, which by the way, let me zoom you back in. I want to show you something. So you can go into what they call pro mode and uh, let's really pull you in there. Okay, there we go. All right, so you see the top left red button. That's where it has the uh there's a real little print i almost need a microphone microscope to see it but um real tiny letters it says press knob for five seconds for sp mode i'm guessing that's pro mode so we're gonna go one two three four five did we see any changes okay so this that's volt ah so if you watch the emblems here, they're showing you volts and amps. And there's a, the, the, up here on the screen, volt on the left, amp on the right. They got an A on the right and a V over here. So if I want to adjust my volts, I can adjust my volts manually. If I want to adjust my amps, I can adjust my amps manually. They're giving me a recommended uh, plate size, I believe, even though I'm in manual mode. So that's leaving synergy, right? Now we're going to go five seconds. One, two, three four five okay now that that the double emblem went away this knob does nothing all right so if you want full manual control five second hold of this button and you can adjust your volts and your amps independently you could you could you know do do great or do horrible it's all up to you um or you can stay here in synergy mode where you just have the a, I'm going to say A for auto, even though it's on the amp side, right? But I'm going to say A for auto right now, where you can just dial in to a thickness that you want and uh, go from there, right? So th this, by the way, this is where your TIG torch would tie in if you bought it uh, that, uh, you know, the 17V TIG torch. But um, let me fix this. Okay, so there you go. That's the unboxing on the Andelli uh 250 um what's the full name of this 
they call it the just MIG 250 LED. And uh, like I said, it is on Amazon, and I am going to go ahead and give you a link to it. So if you want to go look at it and consider it with that $30 coupon, uh, 130 bucks plus tax out the door, that's not bad for you know a nice little portable machine. But next thing I need to do is uh, throw some sparks with it and see how I like it. All right, guys. Thank you.